All right, let's see. My client was exposed to Agent Orange in Vietnam. Well, there's Agent Orange, Agent Purple. There's all kinds of agents. What we did, oh, my God. I know, and there's another person, well-known, wrote a book on raw foods that has it, too, and this individual needs to, needs to go this way. A few years later, he started to lose feeling in his legs, absolutely. Uh, these are neurotoxins, guys. These are all pesticides and herbicides that they were clearing the jungles of Vietnam with. Imagine a beautiful, pristine jungle, and they're just, you know, killing it all uh, with pesticides. Well, everybody breathes the pesticides, so Agent Orange, Agent Purple, you know, and these are neurotoxins, so the neurological conditions are coming. And remember, there's only one way with a neurological condition. I have watched all of Dr. Morse's videos and do not recall Dr. Morse addressing this toxicity. Would be like any other neurotoxin, any other pesticide, herbicide, anything like that. Detox is the only world that this individual needs to live in. So again, as, as, the, as the case before, I would try to work them up into a high fruit diet. With that said, though, you could spend some uh, a month or two maybe on some greens, high parsley, high dandelion greens, that sort of thing, cilantro, that sort of thing, or get our uh, heavy metal detoxifier, even though you, these are neurotoxins, they go right on those myelin sheaths. So to be honest with you, uh, you want to get in, you want to get the kidneys filtering, the same old thing. Because how can you detoxify the body of anything if that system that detoxifies, not the blood, what's the other system? The lymphatic system. When that system isn't filtering, how are you going to detoxify a human? If you're not filtering from your kidneys or your skin, how do you detoxify someone? You don't. That's the problem. Or if you do, it's very minor because you've, all the elimination exit points are blocked. It is out of the mouth, out of the nose, out of the ears, out of the vaginal. But if all these eliminative organs of the lymphatic system, the skin and the kidneys are down, good luck. And so that's the problem. And so really want to go after this individual, uh, probably male, but not a lot of females in active combat in Vietnam. So uh, definitely, that was my era. And so definitely want to get into this gentleman. And fruit is the only level you're going to regenerate any damage from these uh, acids. Uh, are, are, are going to give it, going to take you a fruit diet. At the same time, I don't know how paralyzed he is right now, but you want to get that upper circuit brain and nerve, you know, get that up and going. Start detoxifying. Get the adrenals. Get the kidneys up. Make sure he's filtering. Get those adrenals up. Get that blood pressure up so you know that neurotransmitters are flowing better across the myelin sheath. That'll electrify and turn on the myelin sheath. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I would definitely hit off with this. My client is a very healthy person who eats fresh, organic, garden-picked food, but is having trouble walking. Well, get in. You guys, there's going to be a deeper detox here because you've got to get in deep in this guy. Vietnam was some time back. So these, these uh, neurotoxins have been building, and so is probably his lymph system with that. So everything exacerbates another. Just realize that. And so this is another case for getting the kidneys to filter and... Um, and getting the adrenals up and, and detoxifying to get him perfectly well with walking and everything, get high up on that fruit diet, and then you'll, you'll turn him around here and help him without breaking the bank. Well, kidney, lymphatic, endocrine glands, kidney metal detox, liver, gallbladder, brain and nerve to upper circ, lower circ. Yeah, you could do lower circ on him, but you wouldn't have to do it long term. Uh, I would try to do two kidneys. I would do an, an adrenal glandular. Depends what his blood pressure is. Maybe start with the 200s. Uh, if he starts to really go low, click up to the 400s. You definitely want to hit the kidneys and adrenals. Then I would jump up to two lymphatics. Make, do try to do the first kit. So you want to, if he's traipsed in Vietnam, you want to deworm him. So you definitely want to do the first kit. And that's got these formulas in him except Kim Metal and brain and nerve and circulation so that you want to deworm this person and every one of your clients deworm them. So that first kid's a good kid, gives them all the basics and the dewormers. Now, that's a two-week program while you sit back, look at your case, and see what you're going to do. I'm going to kick them up to two kidney formulas. I'm going to kick up the adrenals. I'm going to go to a glandular. I'm going to kick up the lymphatic system big time. I'm going to kick up the bowels. I'm going to do the GI broom uh, unless they're just too loose. And then I'm going to do the stomach and bowel formulas with that. I'm going to do the liver for another month maybe. I'm going to do Parasite M for a while on these cases, you know, just to get the fungus out of these people, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm going to take the... Uh, Brain to nerve, uh, upper circle, do those things. Get his eyes, take a look at his eyes, and uh, check a look at that. Yeah, but go down that road. 
But t consider that like any other neurological condition, MS or anything else, you're going to go after them the same, particularly if they've lost nerve function. You know, and it's not parasitic. There, I told you the case in Portugal, Lisbon, that uh, medical doctors actually called me about this case. And this is a case of a gentleman that was a butcher. And I asked him when he came in, he came in with MS symptoms. And the medical uh, over there is a lot different. They actually loved me over there. That was, I thought, I would like to move to Portugal. Over here they hate us, and over there they loved us. And so they, uh, they brought me this case. And uh, I asked him uh, if he wore gloves as a butcher, and he said no. And so I had a real strong feeling, you know, what the problem was. So uh, he was getting worse by the day. And I mean really bad. And so uh, he didn't want to go on fruit to detoxify, but he got to the point where he couldn't even move. He was bedridden, so he said, I'll do anything you want. So his wife started him on the herbs, and he started throwing up handfuls of worms. Handfuls! And three and a half months, I had him driving around Lisbon. Anybody knows about the streets of Lisbon who knows what that means. <laughs> if you don't have a scrape or lost your mirror at some time, you're lucky. <laughs>